Okay, November 2nd, 5.05 p.m. Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, Salt Lake, you know, there's a lot going on here. It's kind of beautiful, so I'm going to film for you folks. Um, you know, it's a beautiful day here. And uh, I want to do a message. I was going to show, talk about Kid by the Side of the Road, but I'll do that after I film some because it's beautiful. I used to work at Comp USA right there. A bunch of Carlos Slim bought and then and, and sold, I guess, or stopped it. So, yeah, these are kind of the. If you go that way, you go to Reno, and there's Salt Lake City. It's, it's a very concentrated city. Beautiful, but look, look at today. Thank goodness there's no chemtrails anymore. Okay, we're not gonna get on I-15. Check out how crowded it is, see? 1,300 south, so we'll stay here. We're going 900 south, and, you know, I'm kinda not, I'm going without commute traffic, so. I don't have a camera person, it's okay. I entertain myself alone. <laughs> But it, what a beautiful day. Look how beautiful it is. It's uh, November 2nd. Buddha. So we're going to come in this way. Um, got some old grain silos, it looks like. So we're going to come in. So people say, Ren, are you in Dallas? No, I'm not in Dallas. i got to be a little careful here. Um, because I didn't want to go to Dallas. Now, Las Vegas is different. My vibe was to definitely go to the Patriot Double Down in Las Vegas, so I did. And, uh, you know, very, some good friends made it possible for me to go down there. Um, because it was an expensive ticket, but I just felt that I really needed to be there, and frankly... It's, I feel the opposite of dis. look at the fall trees. I feel the opposite of disappointment um, having gone there, uh, you know, to, to see Jim Caviezel deliver the Braveheart speech to, you know, Patriot Patel, super intelligent guy. He said it was his first time public speaking, confident, bright, healthy, and, you know, for him to explain the devolution. And I watched him again on, Nino Rodriguez on Nino's Corner, which was wonderful to watch him again and see his take on it. He understands a ton of things. He's decoded a lot of things, but there's things that he knows that, that I don't know, and there's things I know that he doesn't know. Same with Juan, well, with Juan Seven, it's hard to say that. There's probably a very few things that I know that Juan doesn't know, but I was going to talk a little bit Juan Seven because, you know, my latest video where I met Juan, it was an honor to meet him and fun. And I kind of already know him and he kind of already knew about me. He knew about me the, before the first time that I met him because, uh, you know, I ordered my books, Kid by the Side of the Road, the original one. And I didn't get it for one month, two months, three months, four months. And I started kind of think, thinking about it. But Juan, Juan has a good sense of humor, even though he's extremely busy and serious business is going on right now, huge. Um, the post op they put it they put it in a in an open thing so people would throw it away because they'd see Il Donato Trumpo and they didn't realize he's a good guy so they'd throw it away so I never got mine and then I I couldn't afford to go to that Las Vegas event and I wasn't officially invited to it but I noticed the Trump Hotel I could get it cheap and uh, anyway I went back down to Vegas and I got for by the grace of God. I spotted Juan and he, he gave me a book and signed it. Um, Vegas has got lots of hotels. It is kind of concentrated too. Okay, look, they're building a new building right there. It's kind of interesting, that two better building. So we're going, we're, I'm taking it to Salt Lake City here. Um, and I've had good luck with being okay filming. So. This is the main, when you get off the freeway, 600 South, that's the main drag into Salt Lake City. But I'm on this street here, which is, uh, I've stayed at that hotel. It's pretty, oh my gosh. Somebody painted the side. Ouch. 
Um, anyway, I'm really glad I went to Las Vegas and saw incredible speakers. And then, once again, thanks to Lori, she filmed me, you know, get a book from Juan Osaben. And the reason I put out my hand is he's so nice, he signed another one for me. So Juan knows who I am. He knows that I was patient because people, the, the United States Post Office, I'm sure there's people that threw away the book. And I feel bad for people that still don't have them because it, you know, it's a treasure to have that book. And so when I saw it down there, um, you know, I'm okay now. That's why I don't put up, you know, any links. I got shut down with stuff, but I don't, I'd rather just do this. Look at the pretty flowers there. I stayed at that. Hotel. I think that's Little America. Um, I like doing this. I like telling the truth. And I like doing it without, without, you know, asking for any help. But thank God to the people that helped me get down there. But I'm fine. I'm going to lie low. I'm glad. Que estoy tranquilo aquí en Lago Salado, Salt Lake City. And I'm glad I didn't go to Dallas. My discernment was No. And uh, I have very, some very good friends that are there, but I just, I think the international scene, Biden's coming back at 1.30 a.m. from Biden visiting the Pope. He's coming back at 1.30 a.m. in the United States. And it looks to me like there could be some stuff going down when he arrives back. I'll just leave that like that. But I'm really grateful to be here and I'm shooting a video for my subs or subscribers right now. Look, look how beautiful this is. Fall, oh my gosh. Um, but to see Jim Gaviezel, to, you know, interact with Juan, there's people there that were just nice, I didn't even know them, to meet people, to dance, you know, some 70s rock and roll. That's I-15 North. Oh my gosh, I think that's a freaking courthouse. Look at that, how much money they spent on that kind of stuff. Look at that, it's a courthouse. Uh, I remember when they tore down a great bar to build it. Okay, so we're right here in the main part of Salt Lake City. Um, 300 South Broadway. Spencer's, that's a great steakhouse. One of the best in Utah, right there. Um, I had a great steak at the Trump Hotel, frankly. It was great. I'm glad I had one. It's great. Slept on my truck two nights, saved some money, and I could afford a steak at the Trump Hotel. I like a lot. Okay, so it's interesting to see the contrast in Salt Lake City. Um, there's a Marriott, and there's kind of a new building, but the shopping center here, it's not humble. It's like one of the most fancy shopping centers ever. There's another one down there, Gateway, just killed it when they built it. So it's uh, it's not really a humble shopping center. It's beautiful, but it's like super high end. So it's kind of weird having a super high end shopping center, you know, at a religious center. Okay, Saul Palace has been around forever. Here we go. Yeah, I think I know this area really well. I've been coming here for 50 years, off and on. Okay, so there. That's not like a little meeting house. There's a tabernacle behind it. And see, the temple is like get, really getting remodeled. So no wonder I couldn't see it from up there. There's a temple with all the scaffolding. It's hard to, really hard to park here. So that, there's a Mormon tabernacle. That's where they started doing things. Uh, you know, Brigham Young would speak in there and everything. So there, well, see, there it is, free tours. Um, which reminds me, oh, there's, no, I bet those are two sister missionaries, okay? That's what that looks like, sister missionaries. They used to have elders, but I found out maybe 10 years ago, that's a church office building that runs the LDS Church for the World. Holy cow, that's quite a crane. And then look, that was, look how deep they dug down there. Very interesting that they dug down really deep next to the temple, okay? church office building um, okay I'm gonna go up to the view because I love it but the Masonic temples down there which I've been inside 
and let's talk about the Jesus strand in the Masonic Temple. Now, the thing is, is in the tabernacle, Brigham Young and the Mormons were talking about Jesus being married 170 years ago. So it's not new information to find out about it. And people like, people find out different things at different times. So I've known, frankly, that Jesus was married for about 45 years. Other people are just finding out, and then they find out about offspring, but there's a conflict between bloodlines, and it's a life and death conflict, okay? So, it's true. People are just finding out about it, or maybe they find out about it years ago, or 45 years ago, but it, the conflict's been around for thousands of years. People knew about this, and there's prophecies about it even before Christ was born. So that's why, you know, I'm not rushing when there's new information that people like found out that Jesus has a bloodline. It's like, you know, it's old news to me, like 45 year old news, and other people, you know, it's been around for thousands of years. Okay, we've got to make a little turn here because in Utah, you have an unprotected left turn. So you got to watch. Got the Ford F-150, boom! Rawr! I like it. Look at this, look how beautiful. City Creek runs through here, it's flooded. So we're driving up towards the capital. Yeah, I'm doing this for, you know, I just, I love people. Oh man, some of these mansions are incredible. I've been inside, I think one of them, and just incredible. So we're driving up, look at beautiful fall colors. I love doing this for the people that watch my videos, you know? Because of my friends. Pepe, my Pepe friends. Okay. I'm trying to get out of that guy's way. Be at State Street and Hillside Avenue. Oh my gosh. 59 degrees driving up. Here's the capital of Utah. <sighs> no stop required. We're going to go to the right, my friends. This is a, you know, this is a nice little beautiful video on an iPhone. I noticed the footage out of Dallas wasn't as good as my footage. <laughs> Sorry. I feel bad for people that are disappointed in Dallas right now. You know, my spirit and my Holy Ghost like, no, don't go. So I didn't go. And so here I am driving around, but I'm going to watch TV because, uh, or not TV, the internet, look at that. Look up. This is meant to be it seems like the more I try to be a good person, the more God blesses me with beautiful experiences like this. Like the people I've met down there. What can I say? And then, you know, Juan <laughs> saying, yeah. <laughs> Lori, it's Men of Truth on YouTube. And Juan saying, yeah, I know. I know. He does a good job. Juan's a very kind person. He's very nice. Um, we're both trying to do God's will. But I would say that Juan works a hundred times harder than I do. And the vibe I got from him is, you know, I should use my talents. And I do have talents. Okay. I can hold an iPhone and film beautiful stuff. And I happen to be here. Even though I love California, with the politics in California, I don't want to be there. Okay. Someday maybe it'll change, but I don't even like to be here in Salt Lake City. Good. It's good to see an American flag. We'll see some other kinds of flags up here too. Um, I like to be where people don't wear diapers on their face. Oh, good, those people don't. Oh, goodness. Look how beautiful this is. It's called the Avenues, this part of Salt Lake City. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm just going to keep... Look how beautiful this. That's Ensign Peak, and before the temple was built, really early Mormons would do temple ceremonies on top of Ensign Peak. So back to masonry. So George Washington, a lot of the founding fathers were Masons, folks. And I'd say almost all of them were good people. There's differences of opinion, but the, Mason, the Masons got infiltrated. And, oh my gosh, I'm just, look how beautiful this is. Sand, okay, let's see. Sometimes you get up here and you get stuck and you gotta have to turn around. But I can one hand this F-150, it's a great car. Hopefully mostly built in America, not totally sure. Look at this, look at this. Well, folks, I'm hoping you're enjoying this nice. Yep. 
Ensign Vista Drive. Doesn't get much better than that. So here we go, folks. We can thank, thank the great man. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I know I haven't got the inside of my window yet. I'm still recovering from my Vegas trip. Oh. Okay. There we go. Let's see. 15, okay. This will be a little bit longer video, but hey, you know, how many times you get to drive up on a beautiful like this day and share it with your friends? Okay, no access to trails. Let's go up here, because I really want to talk about Kid by the Side of the Road. Here's where a lot of people park. Okay, there's three flags there. United States flag, I think the flag of Utah, and the other one is the ensign of Israel. Seriously, ensign to the, it's the flag of the kingdom of God which I filmed a long time ago in a video. Okay, oh, look at this, it's so nice, isn't it, folks? Okay, let's see if we can find a nice place here. Maybe the same place as before, when I talked about Roseanne and Juan and everything. Okay, look at this, how beautiful, huh? Yeah, I'm glad I get to share this with my subs and get it up. Before the EBS system starts, which I finally I think is going to happen. Am I complaining? No. You've got Space Force people doing very important things. This could be a space war. In fact, it probably is. We're just not aware of it. But look at La Palma. Look at the volcanoes. Amazing. Look at the two CMEs that came out today. Coronal mass ejections. Okay. Yep. I think I just seems like God helps me do my videos. Can you? I just can't believe this, but it's true. Okay, so there's the beautiful view. I'm not. Re I think I'm gonna stay in the truck. Okay, stay in the truck. There's the capital. Um. Okay, here's what I wanted to say. Juan Osaven is not only a good man; he's super intelligent. Because I remember one time. <laughs> I was listening to him in field and uh, he was messing around with some kind of advanced polymers and his, his phone stuck to his face. And of course, Juan laughed about it. He goes, <laughs> my phone stuck to my face. But you know, what kind of person fools around with advanced polymers and touches it and gets their phone stuck to their face? I guess Juan was saving. So uh, he's amazing. So let's see. Kid by the side of the road. I was gonna teach more about this, but you know, let's say there's gonna be a new school. We're gonna we're gonna teach CRT, critical, rational thinking, and we're gonna read this book right here. Oh yeah, let's just do it together, okay? Permit me to issue and control the money of a nation, and I care not who makes its laws. Okay, the Rothschilds. Now, I've had a chance to go to the Côte d'Azur, which is south of France, and I've seen some of the residents of the Rothschilds. There's one that belongs to one of the daughters or granddaughters and it's amazingly ornate and it's just a museum. I think we'll find out more about this guy but I didn't think I needed to be in Dallas to learn more about JFK. I think that uh, Juan and his family did a great job of telling the story about Jekyll Island and I didn't know about the sister ship to the Titanic. Olympic, but it makes sense because J.P. Morgan was no bueno and uh, Interesting about the Washington Monument interesting about this Go back to Garden of Eden a lot of stuff now, you know some of us known about this for 25 30 years They got the Georgia Guidestones, but there's people that they actually believe that the earth's overpopulated I remember there's a guy from Stanford and he's like, oh gosh, 1980, we're gonna die by then because there's, it's overpopulated. I got news for you. We're not overpopulated. There's so much land between here and Las Vegas that you know you could put 100 million people to live comfortably and they'd have great yards. Okay. Oh, I never noticed, look at this. These are the bad guys. These are the bad guys. There's McCain, bad guy, Roberts. Wow, oh, that's... This is the coolest book ever. So when we start a new school system, I think the first class will be Kid by a Side of the Road and it'll be a very popular class. 
I'd love to teach it. And we'd have maybe, you have to wear boots to class, or you can, you don't have to. Chapter two, all patriots must listen. So you gotta get this book. Okay, Masonic meetings are held in church with members honor, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So this book, I like pictures on books too. It's a great book to read, to understand what's going on and to understand the history of our country, which is affecting the whole world. It really is about freedom. Freedom versus control and slavery. It's about freedom. It's about being free. It's about enjoying this beautiful earth that was created para nosotros, for us. It's about meeting new people like Nino Rodriguez or seeing Juan Oseven or Patel or Lori or Cynthia or Cecile. It's about love. It's about love. It's about love. You know, I was thinking about the animals, the squirrels and stuff. They're all naked. They don't, they, they got their birthday suit on. They're going to be fine. Let's take care of each other. <clears throat> Let's forgive those people that get deceived. I think Dallas was a deception. That's my personal discernment. But hey, in yoga, everything happens for a reason. We do things like I'm here right now. Up uh, this beautiful view. It goes all the way down to Draper's down there, point of the mountain. At least they not have bars here. Looks like the White House. Um, I'm going to be watching what's going on in the White House. And someday if I get to meet Nancy Drew, I'm going to take her out to dinner and thank her for everything she's done. And even Richard, citizen journalist guy, he does good stuff. <clears throat> Thanks, Richard, citizen journalist. And Nancy Drew... You know, you showed the rain and everything, and you're going to go back to D.C. tonight. Thanks. I'll be watching your channel on Telegram. Watch my channel on Telegram, folks. You get a chance because I post stuff. I find it from Nancy Drew, or I find it from Whiplash 347, or I find it from uh, Il Donaldo Trumpo, and then I put it up there, okay? Because things are happening rather quickly. I'm glad that I'm peacefully here at the Wasatch Front. I think I'm going to have some food, get back on the Internet, Check in with some friends. God bless America. God bless you. I'm very grateful that I was able to attend the Patriot Double Down in Las Vegas at the Ahern Hotel and spend time with Juan O'Saban to witness Jim Caviezel and meet other people that love our country down there. I say this. Jesus Christ, amen.